Hi everyone, welcome back to our podcast, Everything Product. We talk about latest technologies with a product mindset. This is Fanny Boyuru, I'm a product manager at a startup. This is Srinath, I work as a product ops manager at Twilio. Great. Uh, we have been doing several interview questions in the last few weeks. And what we plan to talk uh, this week is about behavioral questions. I'm going to ask Srinath a behavioral question for product managers. And after he answers, I'll explain why an interviewer asks such questions and what he wants to understand about you. So Srinath, are you ready? Yes. Awesome, Srinath. The question that I have for you is, uh, tell me about a time where you took on something significant outside of your area of responsibility. Yeah, sure, funny. So, I mean, a uh, few years ago, I was uh, working uh, to launch a product uh, in new marketplace, uh, which required a complete, uh, I mean, uh, localization uh, translation um, uh, to meet uh, the local uh, customer needs. Because if you don't build a product which the local customers can follow, then you don't build a product which can be adopted. So, so during that, I observed that uh, we didn't had a good uh, translation mechanisms uh, in place. When I was uh, preparing the launch plan, I realized that. Our, some of our translation teams were using uh, one of uh, Google translations and at times native speakers, which is not a scalable way of doing things and was impacting our customer satisfaction. So as a PM, as an owner of the product, my goal was to make sure I own the entire product end to end uh, in terms of uh, and not only just building it, but also ensure the success of it. And to uh, achieve that, I need to make sure I am able to launch a product which people can understand. Uh, so the translations are done, I mean, correctly. So I stepped out of my PM role. I went into the translator uh, shoes. I understood uh, basically wh why we are having so many inefficiencies and impacting the translation accuracy, uh, which was pretty important before I launched this product. So. During this time, I realized that uh, there were a few things. First, we didn't had a good automation in translation. A lot of stuff were done manually by some of the uh, team members or peers who were like manual reviewers where, like, where we could not set any like uh, accuracy expectations. At the same time, uh, our translators, translations team did not have the necessary budget to engage with native speakers. So, I took this pain points, came up with a plan on how we could automate some of these things through machine translation. And for uh, getting native speakers, I was able to onboard to a system where we can engage with native speakers and get the translations done more efficiently. So by building these mechanisms, um, I was able to, I mean, uh, implement them in my product uh, when I was about to launch, uh, launch the product. At the same time, I was able to measure the customer satisfaction improvement, uh, which resulted from the customer, uh, the translation accuracy, uh, where I was able to improve that from X to Y. And also the overall from the translation services um, accuracy standpoint, that also improved from X to Y. Got it. Awesome. Thank you, Srina. And for everyone who is watching, right, let's take a step back and understand why an interviewer asks a question. As a product manager, when you're trying to deliver a product, many times, you rely on several other teams. And if you're not really satisfied with uh, the work that is being delivered, or if the other teams doesn't really have enough capacity or bandwidth to deliver something, you need to take the end-to-end -end ownership and make sure whatever you need to deliver the product is given to you. And that's what the interviewer is trying to understand. As a product manager, can you take an end-to-end -end ownership and do everything that's needed to deliver a successful product and measure it. Awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Yep, please subscribe. Thank you.